afternoon, Tigers. Welcome to Tiger Vision News for Tuesday, February 17th. I'm Ashlyn, and this is my co-host, Vanessa. Thanks for joining us today. Don't forget to bring some books for the NJHS's book drive this for post-elementary. Here's more from Ms. Stevenson. Hi, Ms. Stevenson here with Ripley. He has a question to ask me. I have several questions. Tell us about the post-elementary book drive. Okay, the post-elementary book drive is a book drive where NJHS here at FMS is collecting books to give to post-elementary. In the fall last year, Post Elementary burnt down, and so they've got funds to replace their school and to replace like the bookcases and stuff, but not the books. And so FMS and the NJHS is coming together to really help support Post Elementary and to give them books for their elementary school. Why are we collecting books? We're collecting books because we really think reading is important, especially in the early years. And so for our students kindergarten through fifth grade, we're collecting books for their classrooms. How many books should students bring? Students should bring anywhere from five to ten. Hi, everybody here with your exclusive on the post elementary book drive. There are plenty of boxes and flyers all over the school, but there's one here right in front of Miss Stevenson and Miss Robertson's room, and then there's one all the way down the hall next to Mr. Fulbright's. It's back to you. The drive lasts until Friday. We'll be back right after this. This is the do's and don'ts of the bathroom. This is Joby, the school goody two-shoes. And this is Jerry, everybody's favorite delinquent. Joby is about to ask to go to the bathroom the right way. Jerry's about to ask to go to the bathroom the wrong way. Yo, me, restroom. See ya. When walking to the bathroom, be silent and quick. Please do not eat and get off your phone when in the hallways. When in the bathroom, please just do your business and don't be like this. After that, please flush. When you're done, please wash your hands for 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And please actually wash your hands. After your hands are washed, dry your hands properly. And one more thing, please no horseplay in the bathroom. Going, remember this simple phrase, use, flush, wash, leave. Hey, hey, aren't you been messing around in the bathroom? Come on, come on to the office. Let's go. No, 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 no. Uh-oh, looks like someone was caught. Anyway, thanks for watching. Welcome back to Tiger Vision News. There's going to be auditions for a play coming up really soon. On Thursday, Ms. Carter will hold open auditions for a play called Story Theater. If you'd like to try out, make plans to show up for auditions after school. Now let's check in with MC Cass and see what's going on in the weather. I'm MC Cass with your weather. Here's a look at your current conditions. 35 degrees Fahrenheit, cloudy, winds northeast 12 miles per hour, precipitation's at 40%. Here's a look at the five day forecast. There's some dancing suns and temperatures in the 50s and 60s. The rest of the week with a chance of rain Saturday. I'm MC Cass with the weather. Back to you. Thanks, MC Cass. Now let's see what's going on in sports. Just hold on. <gasps> Hello, FMS sports fans. I'm tired, and my name is also Vanessa. This is Ashlyn. And here's a look at today's sporting sports. <laughs> Members of the A, a tennis team will take the courts today to face Tough Irons Cougars team. 
The match will be played at our high school starting at 3.45. Do your best today, Tigers. That's, that's a look at today's sports. sports. Back to us. <laughs> well, that's all we have today. Thanks for watching Tiger Vision News. Everyone have a great afternoon. Oh, we'll see you later. <laughs>